A five-year-old male patient complains of swollen, painful gums. He gives a history of delayed eruption of teeth. On extraoral examination, an underdeveloped midface and a prognathic jaw relationship was seen. This means class 3 relationship. Intraoral finding reveals an open bite, macroglossia and generalized periodontitis. Which of the following is the most common etiological factor for this condition? Now on the basis of the information given in the question plus the image that has been provided to us, we can come to the diagnosis that the child is suffering from Down's syndrome. We can see the characteristic macroglossia, underdeveloped mid-face uh, and the uh, upward and outward uh, slanting of the palpebral uh, fissure as well as the epicanthal fold. So we know that the child is suffering from Down syndrome. Now there are three types of Down syndrome. So we know that Down syndrome is a chromosomal abnormality. which occurs because of three reasons. One is triosomy 21. The second is translocation. And the third is something known as mosaicism. So before we get into this, let's first have a look at what is a normal human karyotype. So in the normal uh, human cells which are diploid, we have 46 pairs of chromosomes of which 23 are from the mother, 23 are from the father which are haploid cells, these are haploid that is only half the number of chromosomes are present or n. After fertilization they again become 2n that is diploid with 46 pairs of chromosome. What happens is during meiosis there is disjunction of a chromosome. So if we like we know that each chromosome is present as a pair. So during meiosis this there is disjunction of this chromosome and there is one segment per cell. So it be, from 2n they become n and after fertilization again we uh, become diploid. Now in triosomy 21, in triosomy 21, sometimes there is non-disjunction of chromosome 21. So instead of breaking, the entire two set is present in the, uh, in the uh, cell. So instead of getting N, that is with 23 chromosomes from the mother or the father, what we end up is with 23 plus one additional set of chromosome number 21. So we end up with 46 plus one additional chromosome number 21 as we can see here. So all of all the other chromosomes are one pair and chromosome number 21 is three sets, is a set of three. So this is known as triosomy 21 that is an additional set of chromosome number 21. Now this type of Down syndrome accounts for 95% of all cases of which 88% is because of maternal non-disjunction and 7% is because of paternal non-disjunction or from the father. So 95% uh, uh, of the cases are because of triosomy 21. The second type is something known as translocation. So in this, instead of the additional extra copy of chrom chromosome number 21, there is an additional part of chromosome number 21 such as the 21q or the long arm of the chromosome 21 which is not present as a set with the chromosome number 21 rather it is attached to another set of chromosome usually chromosome number 14. So here we can see that the additional chromosome number 21 the part of chromosome number 21 is attached onto chromosome number 14. So this accounts for 4 to 5 percent of all cases of Down syndrome. This is also known as familial Down syndrome. And unlike in triosomy 21, both the mother as well as father have equal contribution towards the development 
of Down syndrome. So as we saw in triosomy 21, 88% was because of the mother. However, in translocation, both mother and the father have equal chances of uh, developing Down syndrome in the, because they could be, either of them could be carriers for such a type of uh, chromosomal abnormality. The last type is something known as mosaicism. In this, it is very peculiar type because here half the cells of the body show normal diploid whereas the others show an extra pair of chromosome number 21. So not all cells of the body have uh, a 46 plus 1 chromosome. Some are normal diploid cells and some show additional uh, 46 plus 1 chromosome. This is a very rare type of Down syndrome and accounts for only 1 to 2 percent of all the Down syndrome cases. So if we come back to the question, we have been asked which is the most common etiological factor. So as we saw, mosaicism is only uh, 1 to 2 percent of all cases. So it's not this. Then translocation again is only about 3 to 4 percent of all cases. So not this. Non-disjunction during paternal meiosis accounts for only 7 percent of all cases. So not this. Whereas non-disjunction during maternal meiosis accounts for about 88 percent of all cases. So this is the answer for the most common etiological factor in Down syndrome is non-disjunction during maternal meiosis.